Hello, welcome one, welcome all, oopie doopie, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I am so grateful that you are here with me. There we go. <laughs> I, just, I forgot to put on my little bit of Ina Kleine Nacht music, right? A little bit of night music. Um, dang it. It'll come back to me if it's meant to. There was something, I had something really, really interesting and important. Oh, I remember. Okay. Welcome to my channel. Did I already say that? Welcome one, welcome all. I'm the Convalescing Soul. So I use like this photo booth thing to record. It has these like, certain features. There's one where I can be like double. There can be like two of me. I almost did it, but I didn't want to like freak people out. Um, but leave it down in the comments if you want me to do, if you want to see two of me. It's like, <laughs> it'd be like me here and like me here, exactly the same. It'd be like two of us talking to you. I thought it would be kind of fun, but maybe it's meant for another time. <laughs> It'll be, it'll be a surprise when I do it, I guess. I don't know. Double. Double trouble. Double McGum. There's something about doubles, double strollers. Ooh, is somebody having twins? Does somebody have twins? Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to say what else is going in my head. We are reading from the beautiful um, Lightworker Oracle Guidebook. And we are on number 25, which reduces to a 7. For those of you into the numerology, ooh, very elegant card. It's like, it's like a paradise, such a beautiful paradise. The light on the water, the sphere with like purple spirals. Do you guys, I have a Merkaba. Do you guys know what a Merkaba is? It's like a really cool like diamond shaped. I'm so lazy. I hate to get up. I'm going to go get it for you so you can see it because Merkabas are like, they're like super, super cool. One second. Okay, it's your lucky day. It's your lucky day because, ooh, I have two of them. See how they're like a really cool star? Don't mind my nails. I ripped off all my fake nails. I'm trying to heal my nails. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get back to just me. Look, how beautiful, right? So that's, that's, that's a Merkaba. They're really cool. I like them. Maybe some of you out there are into like sacred geometry. It's a thing. I'm going to put them right there by my little candle. One on each side. Lovely, right? Okay. That's a Merkaba. Merkaba, spiritual protection. Ooh, I didn't know that. Merkaba. Well, it looks like she's in a little protective bubble right like usually to protect things we we wrap them we bubble wrap them we wrap people up we wrap them up in our arms in blankets whatever like to protect we huffer <laughs> yeah spiritual protection enlightenment this like opening of like they talk about your third eye is it getting a little too wonky for some of you? Google third eye activation. If you if you like, of course, you do not have to. You always have free will. <laughs> okay, 25. And 7 is a very spiritual number, which 25, you know, reduces to a 7. So that's kind of goes right along with it. Okay, let us begin. <laughs> Being open to receive is a way to gain empowerment, 
strength and all manner of assistance. To enhance receptivity, it can be helpful to declutter and cleanse your energy field. This allows for that which is not rightfully yours to be shed. Sometimes this will include the disowned thoughts and feelings of others. Oh. When you realize these thoughts and feelings, a spaciousness will grow within you. Then you can receive more of what is rightfully meant to be for you, your divine good in all ways. An open, sensitive person can easily become energetically overloaded. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> From physical pain to emotional and psychological tension, an overload does not feel good. You may even feel like you are carrying others on your back or on your head. Yeah, like have you ever been around um, love and light to all? <laughs> some, some people... Um, and they have a very heavy energy like if you're sensitive to that and just when you leave you just feel like so weighed down and then you contrast that with others who when you leave you just feel so light like you almost like skip and dance away and you're happy and it's such like a refreshing renewing um, feeling you know just little things like that you can pay attention to and you're like okay <laughs> you know this is kind of your body's way of saying maybe you need to protect yourself a little bit more when you're around people who might be very heavy because if you're sensitive to energy it it does affect you like have you ever <laughs> come back from a vacation maybe visiting family members or something like that and you get home and you like you were out of town you were on vacation but you get back and you're like I need a vacation from my vacation I think that's another example why that happens is typically if you go on a vacation you're supposed to come back rested and just like ready to take on the world. But certain vacations are not vacations because you don't come back feeling that way. You come back needing another one. So because you really didn't have one, it clearly was not a break. <laughs> okay. Okay. You may even feel like you are carrying others on your back or your head. Yeah, we said that. We feel that. <laughs> the added weight can drag your naturally light vi vibration down into anguish, doubt, fear, or despair. Or you could just go to bed and not come out for two weeks. That happens to me sometimes. <laughs> your inner vision, too, may be obscured by the overload. That can make it hard to discern what is yours and what might belong to another. Whether experiencing overload to your system is an unusual occurrence for you or you have a tendency to absorb and process others' energy, common for healers, psychics, mediums, artists, and other sensitive people, you will benefit from a spiritual cleansing Afterwards, you may feel less inclined to connect with particular people or work on certain ideas. Sadly, yeah. <laughs> Even if they seemed very important before the cleanse. This means that you are freeing yourself from others' input and discerning the true priorities of your own heart. To accept a spiritual cleansing now, repeat the invocation below, which I will read for you, and then relax for as long as you need with, okay, well, we, you're not going to be able to do that. It's saying to like, look at this card and have that card nearby. But if you want to take a screenshot of it to really like maximize the potential, here you go click or just keep it in your mind alrighty 
You can repeat this process daily for three days or, or up to three weeks if you feel you need it. Your rest can be for several minutes or up to half an hour or more. Girl, guy, you know I'm taking a 90 minute nap after this. If you fall asleep during your cleansing, that can allow for even deeper clearing. Beautiful. I'm doing it. Are you doing it too? 90 minutes, okay? As soon as as soon as we're out, we're going to sleep. Pay particular attention to what you sense immediately after your cleansing. It is a time when you may become very aware of just who or what has been draining you and be able to lovingly but firmly say, you must leave my energy field now <laughs> and not return without my expressed verbal permission <laughs> of my own free will so be it i do not consent <laughs> okay this this is also confirmation for those of you who've been questioning if a relationship person or situation has been draining you or transferring negative energies or thoughts into your energy field. Your insights are correct. And you can now use this energy clearing process to remove the cords of attachment and release any negative energy from that person or situation. We have now arrived at the invocation and I believe the guidance was to relax, lie down, make yourself comfortable, bring this picture into your mind's eye if you'd like, close your eyes, focus on the inhalation and the exhalation. When we're all done, you can just stay exactly as you are. Just continue to breathe. Maybe you'll fall asleep. Whatever happens is perfectly what's supposed to happen for you. Okay. I call upon unconditionally loving divine protection the sacred chamber of light, the Merkaba of divine light, is around me now. I choose of my own free will, under divine authority and grace, to release any and all connections, content, and contaminants that do not serve me through unconditional love. I choose of my own free will to take my life journey in the most joyful and loving way possible. I open to divine grace for cleansing and protection of my integrity at all times. I am free to simply be in the truth of me. May all beings be blessed and protected. May all beings be happy and free. Through my own free will, so be it. Continue to breathe and relax. Stay here as long as you need. But remember, we're going to do it for 90 minutes. <laughs> May you always find yourself in the light. Much love.